What's going on, boys? My name is Hunter, and welcome back to Life Advice with Hunter. This is week seven, but before we get into everything, I just want to give everybody a huge thank you once again for the absolutely amazing support that you guys have been showing me these past seven weeks on these videos. It really does mean an absolute lot to me, and I couldn't be doing this without you. And I just want to say that and express my appreciation for everything that you guys are giving me and this opportunity to just sit down and speak with you guys. And also really quick before we get started, I also want to ask for your support by hitting that subscribe button. By hitting that subscribe button, you won't miss a single video that we upload along with letting us know that you are enjoying the content. We have plenty of great content coming along in the next few weeks here on Point C and we're really excited to have you here. Also, don't be afraid to leave a like that lets other people see this video and also lets me know that you want to keep seeing more of these videos. And one last thing that I just want to say, Point C is sponsored by W Energy. W Energy is a leading energy drink that is better than the competition. It is jitterless energy with tons of caffeine, none of the calories, and best of all, it's not expensive. You can get started down below by clicking the link or using code SIGMA934 at checkout for 10% off of your order. I personally really enjoy their push and punch flavor, which is a unique sour fruit punch. And I can promise you, you won't be disappointed. So last week we actually spent some time talking about sort of how to make goals and sort of achieve your goals. This week we're actually not really giving so much advice, but I just want to kind of talk about why I started this series and why I really started my career here on YouTube. We're going to take a big step back here and we're actually going to go back in time. When I was a kid, when I grew up, I was sort of one of the first generations to really grow up with YouTube. You know, a lot of the YouTubers that came before me, they didn't necessarily grow up with it. I grew up in the era with people like Sky Does Minecraft. I grew up with COD commentary. I grew up with all that amazing stuff. And for me specifically, I fell in love with COD commentary. COD commentary has always been something that I have loved. COD commentary used to be one of the biggest things on this platform, especially when Call of Duty was something that everybody was playing after work or after school. You know, unfortunately, it's not that, you know, we're spread out between Fortnite and all these different games. But COD at one point was the king, and it still is the king in some regards. Um, but for me, it, it especially was. And I would come home and I would listen to some of these guys like C Nanners, and I would listen to people like Woody's Gamer Tag, which we'll be talking about extensively in this video. I grew up with these guys. In particular, one that I fell in love with was Woody's Gamer Tag. So a little bit of background on who Woody's Gamertag is. He has been one of the oldest guys in this commentary scene. A lot of the guys now that were doing it, they were in their early 20s. They were, I mean, kids, really. I mean, you know, they didn't know what they were doing either. They were my age and they were just playing COD, smoking weed and having a good time talking about the latest news in COD. Except Woody stood out because what made Woody stand out from everybody was that he wasn't 20. He was like at the start of his career, he was like, he was almost 40, you know, he was mid thirties. And you'd think that this would be a big like thing that hurt him, but he, he used that to his advantage. He was very close, tight with young people in the industry. Uh, people like FPS Russia, Wings of Redemption, Mercadurka, all these people, except he was different in the sense that he was very specifically hitting a different niche. All these guys were talking about, you know, whatever, banging chicks and the best strats for COD. Woody wasn't talking about that. Woody was giving life advice, which is kind of how I came up with this here, right? <laughs> but he would talk about life advice and he specifically sort of had this idea of, I'm here to more be a father figure. Because unfortunately, especially every single day, more and more children grow up in America without a father. And that's sort of where Woody's advantage came in. You know, he wasn't the same age as these people, so he was really able to cover topics that these people weren't covering. You know, once again, he wasn't talking about women and drugs, he was talking about life advice. And specifically, he was talking about how to be a good man in general, you know. And thankfully for me, I, I do have a wonderful father in my life. I'm somebody that taught me what hard work means and sort of how to build a life for yourself. But for a lot of people that don't have that, Woody was there to sort of build that foundation and help people learn about the world. In particular, most famously, he made a video talking about how to get rich in 22 years. And it's a great video talking about compound interest, return on investment, all these amazing topics that sort of really help people figure out who they want to be and what they should be doing. I mean, he was already doing accounting and programming for 15 years. He wasn't somebody that dropped out of college or 
just finished high school. He was somebody that was already had a foundation, already had a career, and already had a family, and was simply just making another source of income. And for me, I once again just absolutely fell in love with it. Even from a young age when I was first making content, I was making content with my fucking iPad and I was making stupid videos. I was just trying to take advantage of the content that I grew up with and the content that I sort of knew. And funny enough, when I got started, I already kind of knew what I wanted to do and who I wanted to be in the future, which is sort of why I'm making this video. I had a conversation with an old friend of mine uh, just a few days ago, and we were talking about, you know, why are you doing this? Because he's really curious as to why I've been uploading constantly and why there's been so much content flowing out of me recently. I, I sat back and I thought about it and I realized why. I do it because I wanna help people. Um, I'm not trying to be a father figure like Woody is. I'm more trying to be an older brother figure with these videos. And in particular, I kind of thought about what I am doing here. I'm here because I wanna help people in particular, people that necessarily don't have the same life experience that I do. People that may be struggling with depression, anxiety, or stress in general. And for me, I just wanna be here to support people through that because as somebody that's dealt with depression and anxiety, I understand the absolute stress that can have in life, especially certain points in your life, it can be absolutely just awful and can be just absolutely destructive to you as a person going through life. And it's funny because I kind of look back at the old content that I used to make. I got started on YouTube I'm just making these shitty fucking Let's Play videos. And then also I had a group channel with my my childhood friends, Lucas and Ethan. Lucas and Ethan, if you're watching this, man, I hope that you two are doing amazing. We haven't talked in years, but we made a group channel and it was weird because like we almost made it like a, a, like a news channel. And what we did is that like this was at the time like when Scott Coffin was like leaving hints for FNAF on his website and i hope that those videos are in the ground but we would like do like breaking news you know and it was absolutely crazy in that point of our lives just trying to dissect these stupid photos on scott goffin's website man and that was a wild time and i did that and then i got bored of it and then covid came around and when covid came around i was in high school by that point i was already sort of learning who i was as a person and what happened to me is that i started making content again and one of the first things that i ever made was a video entitled halo 5 prop hunt funny moments and it was a video of me and my two friends and what we did is that we played Halo 5 prop on it was a good time and I made a you know small videos here and there throughout quarantine then my friend Noah came to me and he's like hey man you want to help me edit my YouTube videos and I said heck yeah and uh, we started editing and that's when point C was born we sort of came together and I started helping on the channel and I we just started to grow you know we spent the next few years making videos making all sorts of different content from like movie reviews and over the next two years I learned a lot I went from using iMovie to Final Cut and then I ended up on Premiere Pro and for me it was a big learning process I already knew what I wanted to do I knew that I wanted to find a way to help people and support people through life and I didn't know it yet but this was gonna be the avenue that I went down. You know, we were making these videos for years, growing slowly, people were enjoying them, our friends were laughing at it, and a lot of it was just inside jokes between us and our friends that we all found so funny. And we still quote it to this day. Like just the other day, we were quoting Carter from the Mall Cop video, and you know, it has the memorable quote of, have you heard of Five Nights at Freddy's? We just ran with it and we had an amazing time. And unfortunately, we had some breaks here and there. You know, it was, it was nothing like personal, it was just more like, we have lives, I went to college, College, you know, Noah's working. He also has a girlfriend. You know, it's just a tough experience. And, you know, it was always just sort of a part time thing. It was for fun. You know, we were never making money. But after that break, we came together and we started making content in the summer of 2022. You know, we started making Fortnite content and just making more popular videos and it was fun. I was learning new techniques. I was getting better. I bought a webcam. I was learning new techniques that I wasn't using like the zombies videos, right? And I was just having fun and we were growing fast. Then unfortunately we had to take another break because like I said, I moved to college. Noah has a job. And then I started making sort of these IRL videos where I sat in front of my webcam and I talked about conspiracy theories. Um, I also made that Adobe rant and all that great stuff. And the whole point of that content was, was to experiment and at the time I had planned to do OTK style videos, 
that fell through just because, you know, once again, the college experience, things happen. So then what happened was, is that that winter, we sort of came together and we said, we want to bring Point C back to what it was. We started experimenting even more once again. That's when we made, you know, the Minecraft videos. I also made um, Smash Brothers content. We did some great stuff in those few months. And then I did a switch on the channel. I was like, you know what, we're going to start streaming. Now, the streaming didn't work out. Streaming is hard. You know, it's hard to be funny for six hours a day. I won't lie to you. It was super hard, and I just kind of gave up. I was like, you know what? We're going to go back to videos. And here we are. And what happened was that I was sitting here one day, me and my best friend Vaughn, since like late elementary school, we downloaded Far Cry 5, and we started playing the co-op. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to record this. And that's sort of where I found my new style, where I was like, okay, I have almost perfected the editing. We are just going to run with it, and we're going to start uploading content again. And I've been uploading multiple times a week, and I just spend a lot of my time editing. And once again, I, I know why I'm here now. I understand that I'm here because I want to help people, and I want to help people sort of get through their issues, whether if that's like financial, mental, physical, whatever they're dealing with, I want to be here to support people mentally. And I think that I feel that way because I know that feeling. I was in that place too where I felt like online was a place that I felt safe, where I was able to meet people that agreed with me and thought like me especially in the time where I didn't feel like I had anybody, especially in 2020 when COVID was going on and I felt isolated and I felt alone. I couldn't see my friends and really my only source of entertainment was the Xbox sitting in front of me. And I always want to be that for people. I always want to be sort of this light at the end of the tunnel that people can look to for advice and somebody that can sort of support them and get them through the hard times. And I really just appreciate everything that I've been able to do in these last few weeks that have just really shown that you guys want this and you guys want to see more of it. And it means a lot to me to know that I'm able to help somebody in some way every single day. And I never want to stop that. When me and Noah started this, our goal wasn't necessarily we're going to get rich and dip out. No, the whole idea was is that we just started recording us and our friends doing stupid shit on Xbox. And then it's grown. And I know that at times it may seem like to you guys that it's simply just us recording you know call of duty or whatever game we're playing halo fortnite whatever we are playing that we're just here you know to get views or whatever but the real truth is is that this channel was basically essentially created just to kind of have moments of just our memories i can think back to so many memories that have been recorded for example we made a rocket league video back in the day and i think that we recorded that video after i spent like eight hours in a car and I was just upset and not having a good day and then we played with this guy Connor and Connor is such a nice guy but I just had enough and Connor just like sometimes would say shit without thinking that just makes no goddamn sense and I just bullied him so hard for no reason and that's a moment that we quote all the time between me and my friends we're just like damn Hunter you're cutthroat tonight because one of our friends Lewis said that and it's just like one of the best moments of what I would say is my teen years you know just looking back on the stuff that I did with my friends and the absolutely funny shit that we would do on Xbox those late nights that we would sit down and have these deep conversations or just shit around on Call of Duty Cold War. At the end of the day, once again, I never necessarily thought that I would have the platform that I do. And once again, like I talked about, this isn't a big channel, but to me it means a lot to sort of have you guys around and have somebody that I can sort of try to help. And that's what I always want to be. I always want to be somebody that can be there to support you through your low times. Because the thing is about life is that you're going to have those moments. And life can be hard. You know, life can kick you in the fucking dick and spit in your face, right? And not even give you a reach around. Life is going to be tough. But the thing is, is that you always need to find things to help you get through it. And I want to be that thing to help you get through it. And whether if that's with my humor or me sitting here talking and just being real with you, I hope that I'm able to somehow make your day better. If your boss was a dickhead today, if you had a fight with your mom, if you broke up with your partner, whatever you're dealing with, this is a place for you to feel safe and to be respected and to be shown what you need to do next. And when I just think back on what I've done in this past year, it's just been nothing but chasing that dream, you know? Um, I've just kind of like chatted with people and had conversations with people that have really been appreciative of what I've been able to do and just 
I really appreciate all of you um, for so many different reasons that I won't be able to express in in any form, to be honest with you, because even as small as this project has been over the past few years, it just means a lot to me to know that people actually do watch this and that people do care and that they do listen. Because without you, I wouldn't have this sort of platform. I wouldn't have a chance to speak my mind. And I'm just really happy to know that people are enjoying what I'm doing. It's crazy to think because Point C turned three years just a few short months ago. And it's crazy to think where we're going to be in a year's time. Because I have big plans for 2024. And I'm going to save that for like the big 2024 channel update announcement thing. You know, that's going to be a big project that I actually have some big plans for. But I just want to say that once again, I really just appreciate having the chance to speak with all of y'all. And to know that at least one person is there listening and understands what I'm trying to tell you. And you know, it wasn't just people like Woody's Gamertag that sort of inspired what I do. You know, people like Jay Schlatt even inspired this content, you know, whether if it was his humor, you know, I take all types of, you know, silly little fucking references from him all the time. Like when I talk about my dubby shaker cup that I'm drinking out of right now, I talk about the big fucking tits on it. I'm making jokes that sort of evolved and were adapted from creators that I loved. It's just really funny to see, you know, and someday I wish that I am able to sort of be on that same level. The point that I'm trying to make is is that no matter what happens i always want to at the end of the day be here to support everybody and make sure that you're getting the information that you need anyways boys i know that this video has been a little shorter than the last few i promise that the next one's going to be nice and long this video was going to be originally a different topic but i just felt like i wanted a little bit more time to work on it and i just still wanted to make sure that i'm giving you guys content once again i really appreciate you guys watching and i want to make sure that you guys have sort of something to hold you over until saturday which is going to be a big video on saturday um um, I'm really excited for it. It's going to be funny. I hope that you guys enjoy it. And, uh, you know, once again, I just want to say that thank you all so much. Without you, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. No, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. You help me grow and you make me want to do everything that I do. Part of the reason that I get up every morning is this channel. And I want that to stay this way. And I just want to say once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Once again, it's free. And make sure that you won't miss a single one of my videos. It also lets us know that you want to see more content from us. Also hit that like button, share the video, let people know about this content if you feel that it's important, or you just want to share it with a friend because you thought it was funny. Anyways, boys, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and peace.